so i came here to aspen last night and the drive was so nice it was nothing like i've ever seen before uh, i'll probably just put a separate video of the time lapse that i've recorded of my drive from estes park to aspen the drive is really 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 nice it was a four and a half hour drive but i did not realize how time went by it was so nice anyway here i happen i'm in aspen right now and the plan for today is to go biking a little bit and then come down so there's a, this place called maroon bells where i'll probably be going today uh, the hosts are really nice there's a couple that stays here uh, the airbnb where i'm staying right now and uh, they're uh, ski instructors and whatnot so they have a very lovely place i'll show you that in a moment and uh, they helped me chalk out a plan for today like all previous posts have also and i'll show you how pretty that place is let me take you in and show you how the place looks like So this is uh, day 7 of my trip and uh, it's about 1 o'clock right now. Again, I got a late start to this day. Uh, again, I didn't want to rush. Like I said before, I have a plan chalked out for today. I'm in this place called uh, El Jabel. And though I said I was in Aspen, I'm actually in El Jabel. Aspen is about a 30 minute drive from here. I had uh, chosen my Airbnbs in such a way that going to all the nice places shouldn't be like a very long drive. Now, the only thing I'm contemplating is uh, the host suggested that I could take an e-bike and uh, because it's going to be a little steep he said hey, I could take an e-bike or he was like if you take a normal bike you could uh, go drive up a little further and then bike from there to Marukel so I'm still contemplating based off uh, whether I'm going to get a bike or not right now uh, like an e-bike right now and also the price because he said the price of an e-bike is going to be a little more expensive I honestly, I'm trying to go a little cheap right now. I don't want to spend too much. Let's see what I find. The first challenge right now is going to be to go to Aspen and to find uh, a place where I can rent a bike. The host told me I could just go to Aspen and I should find something out there. Uh, but he didn't tell me exactly any specific name or any specific shop where I could uh, take a bike and go from there. I don't know whether the way to go up is going to be like on a road or is it going to be a trail. Uh, to be very honest, I've uh, I've always looked at these uh, Instagram and YouTube videos of people taking their bikes on trails. I've only done that once in my life, but it would be really nice if I could do that today and uh, take that bike on a trail. But anyway, the weather today is extremely pretty. It's nice and uh, warm outside. It's about 14 degrees Celsius, and the view and the roads, everything is so so nice. I'm not sure if I'm going to put this in the previous vlog or this one. The drive from uh, Estes Park to this place was so nice. The skies were brilliant yesterday. It was unreal. It was out of this world. I could see the sun setting, uh, like a uh, crescent moon rising. Uh, it was all pink and purple. And it was really, really nice. Nothing like I've ever seen before.
so I'm here in Aspen now. Uh, just reached here, parked on the side of the road uh, to see if I can find a place where I can rent some bikes and go up the mountain. I just hope I find them soon because it's already 1.30 and I don't want to waste a lot of time sitting in my car because today is my last day out here and I'll be probably going towards the Great Sand Dunes tomorrow if I'm not wrong and I don't think I'll have too much time tomorrow to do anything. So I found a place to rent a bike and uh, it's called Aspen Bikes. Very creative of them to call themselves so. I somehow got an e-bike, they had just one last left out here. I don't have much time to come back because they were like, they close at 5. But he's given me a lock and he's like, just in case you don't make it, I have to make it though. But just in case I don't, I will have to lock it outside and then go. Uh, this is how the e-bike looks like. Uh, from here, I'm, first of all, I'm going to have to take the back to where I parked my car and there's a free, free parking spot that I found so I'm gonna go there now take my bike there take my bag because I don't have any right now uh, take whatever I need uh, wear shoes because I'm in my flip flops right now uh, do that and then head up to Maroon Bells he said it takes about one and a half hour to go back so go there it is about 2.30 right now so by the time I go up it should be about 4 let's see without wasting any more time I think I should start driving it now So, it says it's about 1, and a, one hour and 43 minutes. <laughs> I generally don't think even before starting I'm going to make it before 5. But I guess let's not waste time and start because the sun is going down now. And I really want some good light. Uh, I really want to take some good pictures when I go up there.
The sun is going down fast and I think it's about 3.30 right now. I don't have a lot of time because I met, I met a cyclist who was always way down and he was like, go as far as you can because it's going to get started. It's going to get dark soon. Whew. So, one reason why I can't even speak. It's so cold. Anyway, one reason why I got this e-bike is because of the audio. I know I'm going to get tired. The other thing is, I can go a little faster. Like if you see, right now, I'm going about 20, 728 kilometers per hour. This is really pretty. I'm gonna try and really make it up to the top. Even if it gets dark and I'm coming down, it doesn't matter. But I'm gonna release it if I get to fight it too up top. So I had about, I think, 45 minutes more to go. But there is something wrong with the e-bike now. And it just stopped working. It just keeps getting better and better. And now the problem is, the e-bike was fine and it was working. But look at the size of these tires. Oh, going up, oh, forget going up, even going down with these tires is going to be a feat. Let's see if I can do something to start it up. I just hope it starts. It had a lot of batting left in it. Anyway, oh, fingers crossed. So I tried to meddle around with the bike a little bit. Uh, thought maybe the motor is overheated or something, which is why it wasn't turning on. But doesn't look as like doesn't look like it is working. And also here I have no coverage so I can't even call the people who I rented this bike from and tell them if they could suggest me something that I should do to get it started again. Oh. The challenge now is going to be forget everything else. Just going back with these heavy tires. Woo. Okay, anyway, at least for now it looks like it's not, it's, there's a slope out here, so it shouldn't be as bad. I really feel bad I can't go up top. Also, the sun is setting. And it was about, uh, about 45 minutes more. Looks like I'm gonna have to do maroon belts tomorrow now. Or what I could probably do is just go there, give them the bike, see if I have enough time, take my car and then go up to the maroon belts. Woo, woo.
for some reason <laughs> any dog that i have encountered so far none of them actually like this bike it i think makes a lot of noise which makes them curious but i don't know what but i had almost all the dogs from the family so yes it was a bummer that i couldn't go up top but even this was fun like it was a positive sort of thing going and finding a little uh getting on e-bike from there i know it malfunction did not work and uh, broke down the middle of the ride but even this is not bad like just So this little part where I got to ride the e-bike and go halfway is something I genuinely thoroughly enjoyed. I'm not complaining too much to be honest. It's fine. It did not work. I couldn't go up there, but uh, it would have been fun. It would have been better if I would have been able to go there. But it's okay. I still have another day tomorrow, or even if I can go back right now and reach back before they close at five, uh, I can give them this bike, take my car. And uh, if it's taking about an hour and a half, uh, and it's taking about an hour and a half to go up on a bicycle, I think it'll be much shorter on in my car. So I'll see if I can do that. Take my car and go up again. All right. So, yes, it was a bummer that I could not go up and had to come back soon. But if that didn't happen, I probably would have missed this. Look at what I came across. I guess everything happens for a reason. I would have missed totally missed out on this because by the time I would have I would have come back down, it would have been dark. One, I've never seen a llama, and two, that llama is really big. <laughs> like it's, it is really big. Ata hi the, asa karte, asa karun kadi llama alas taka. Kuthun kuthun ye tad. I think it's about 10 more minutes. I think it's about 10 more minutes. But trust me, riding the e-bike when the e part of it fails is generally a feat. I'm gonna make sure I get some refund from them. Chai la.
so this is what happened I finally somehow made it to the rental bike they were kind enough to give me a full refund on that so I didn't really waste any money as such but I can really feel my thighs right now so now that I'm done with that I don't think I have any strength to go up or drive up to Maroon Bells anymore right now because even if I take my car uh, the light is not going to be that great so I asked the guy who I rented the bike from whether there were any good restaurants around because one I'm hungry and two I'm hungry so suggested me a restaurant he said it's just down here somewhere a couple blocks down here oh, I'm gonna see if I find it or I'll just put it on Google Maps and then eat something out there before heading home it's barely five but the Sun is setting I think a better time to come here would have been in summer where you get a lot more time during the day uh, then during winter, yeah, you can ski and all, but if you're not into that, summer would be a good time to come here. But, but the other thing about coming here during winters is the sunsets are prettier than what it is during summers. So, uh, decided to come here and have some food at this restaurant called Mezzalunia. It's, it's pretty nice out here. Like, uh, I, I asked them that I wanted to sit outside because there were a couple people inside. And because of COVID, I didn't want to really risk it. But, yeah, it's a pretty, pretty nice place. Uh, there's, there's very less people around, which is nice in a way. Uh, it doesn't look like uh, one of those expensive restaurants uh, where they don't have the prices written out there on their menus. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna try and see if I can try any exotic meat out here. Uh, like in Dallas, there's a restaurant. Uh, I mean, there's a couple of restaurants where you can have certain exotic meats. Like, uh... hello, how are you? I'm good. Give me a few minutes. I'll tell you what I want. Thanks. So in Dallas, there are a few restaurants where you can get uh, uh, things like, uh, I think, alligators, uh, camels, bison, deer, uh, rabbits. Uh, let's see if they have anything like that out here. Not that I'm a fan of that, but uh, why not just give it a shot? So my order is here and uh, this is what it looks like which is the spaghetti fresh tomatoes sweet basil shallots roasted garlic olive oil with shrimp i am so hungry i think i'm gonna need another one okay so this was not one of the very expensive restaurants where they hide the pricing on the menu but i think this was just expensive enough to give away a very huge plate and very little food in it the food like the spaghetti that I had the spaghetti that I had was nice oh, but I hadn't had food in almost in the past four or five days like a proper meal and this cold weather also called for a nice hot soup so I was like let's just go for it I do have a lot of food at home as well but 
I don't have the patience right now to go back home and then make something. Also, the Airbnb that I'm staying, it's nice. It's really nice. The people there are vegetarian, but uh, the thing is, uh, they don't have a microwave. Uh, they're using their stuff for everything, and most of the things that I got. Uh, were ready to cook things that I could just shove in a microwave and then just heat it and then eat it. So I had some good food at the restaurant. I think I had enough adventure for today. Heading back to my Airbnb, which is only about 23 minutes away from here. Tomorrow, I think I'm leaving for the Great Sand Dunes. I'm not sure. I'm gonna go and check. I think I'm done with everything for today. It's it's just 6:15 right now, but I've already had dinner, and it was extremely cold out. Like even while I was eating, I wore a glove with my left hand. And then uh, slowly put on the jacket. Initially, I was only wearing a T-shirt, and then I was uh, sitting outside. One glove came on. Slowly, the second glove came on. The jacket came on. Uh, the waiter came on. Uh, at one point, I was like, "No, I've got to go." Couldn't even wait till the waiter came out and took the, uh, the seat. Overall, it's been a nice day. I I had no regrets about not being able to go to Maroon Bells. I think I'll still see if I can go tomorrow to Maroon Bells. Uh, and this reminds me of uh, the Red Dog Amphitheater, which never happened for three days. But I guess uh, I'll probably go home, crash, edit yesterday or rather day before yesterday's vlog, uh, watch some videos, and just lay in bed and do nothing. I'm not going to lay. Riding that e-bike was genuinely a challenge, uh, especially. The uh, road was a little steep, but I guess I'm happy. Uh, I'm happy, content, and satisfied for whatever I could achieve today. And I, I guess I'm just gonna go ahead and call it a day. Ask Jay. Uh, don't even ask. No. <laughs> I'll tell you what happened. So, hello. So I rented an e-bike, went to Aspen, okay. and the e-bike broke down midway while I was going to Morumbi's. Oh no! 